What's up guys, it's Max here. In this video, I'm excited to show you how to make your very own model scale Panga boat engine or outboard motor for your next RC boat project. Yes, this is my own idea of making a miniaturized model scale Panga boat, taking a bit of inspiration from the full scale Panga boats I've seen in real life. Many of you have already seen these outboard motors, but for those of you who haven't, it's simply a boat motor that sits on the stern and outside of a boat and does not require any rudder control whatsoever except the swiveling of the motor itself, the engine, in order for the boat to turn. So without further ado, let's get started making the outboard motor. First take three popsicle sticks and cut some four and a half centimeter sections off. and then glue all three together like so. Find out where on the base platform you want the shaft to go through and then poke the hole. To make the engine housing a little more rounded on the sides, I decided to cut off the corners and make the base sort of look like a compressed hexagon. After that, you're gonna wanna take two popsicle stick pieces and glue them onto the base to elevate the motor a little bit and then glue the motor on. To keep the axle straight at all times, I glued a little popsicle stick end piece with a hole big enough so that the spoke can spin around freely. Now let's make the midsection of the engine which houses the axle going down to the lower gearbox with the propeller using popsicle sticks and skewers. Cut a five and a half centimeter section of this axle housing off Now we're making the lower section which holds the gearbox for the propeller. It should look like a two-prong fork at the end, then glue it to the bottom of the engine so it meets the hole. In between the two prongs, I glued a little square of a hole so it stabilizes the shaft when in motion. Add a bit of glue onto the gear that will slide onto the main shaft that's in contact with the gear that's on the motor. Add an eight tooth tiny gear to the bottom of the shaft. Before continuing, make sure everything turns nicely. So we want to add this 15 tooth 90 degree angle gear to the gearbox, but first we're going to need to measure where we need a hole and then make it on those little sections of popsicle stick and then glue them on. Push the little gear into the gearbox up against the hole and then slide a 3 millimeter piece of bicycle spoke in. Be sure to glue a small segment of popsicle stick onto the back of the gearbox to close it up, making sure that you've made a 2mm hole for the small axle, as well as the bottom of the gearbox. Now it's time to make the motor housing, making sure that you're gluing on 3cm pieces of popsicle stick. Before you completely cover up the DC motor, be sure to solder on a couple of wires. And the gaps for the front and back of the engine should be somewhere 2 centimeters apart. Hmm, this outboard motor seems to be missing a roof, so let's make one using a similar technique as we used for the base of the outboard motor. Just before we do, let me add another layer of popsicle sticks because there seems to be not enough space. That's better. Let's outline where we need to cut using a pen with the roof pressed onto the top of the outboard motor. I glued on a couple of popsicle stick tabs so that the top doesn't pop off. Now let's make the motor's propeller from the bottom of a can.
poke a hole in the center of your propeller and make sure it slides on to the small shaft sticking out at the bottom. I figured out that the best method of attaching the propeller onto the shaft is just to solder it and it turned out to work really well. And just below the engine's base, I glued on a couple of right angle like shaped popsicle stick pieces. And now we're done with a Panga Boat outboard motor. It works good at full speed without a PWM speed controller, but just to show you the differences in speed of this outboard motor, I wanted to try using one of these. And I'm using a 2 cell lithium ion battery as the power supply. First I hooked up the battery to where it says power plus and negative and then I hooked up the motor to where it says motor plus and motor negative. Now let's go see its performance in water. Alright guys, that's about it for part one of the RC Panga Boat showing you how to make the outboard motor. And I'm quite impressed with the motor itself, its performance, the power, you know, it's got quite a bit of thrust and push to when I was testing it in the water. So this little motor in here, the common motors that you pretty much see in all toys nowadays that are motorized, it does a pretty good job. And stay tuned for part two where I'll make the rest of the boat, the electronics, and the steering mechanism to make this motor turn. Guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram at max.imagination. And if you appreciate my content, please consider donating to me with the link in the description below with Bitcoin. All right, that's all for now, and I'll catch you guys in part two of the RC Panga Boat. Peace.